Mr. Anson's new record. Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Anderson's News Network. Today's topic is Revenge of the Nerd. How DJ Academics thugged his way into the hip hop industry. DJ Academics, real name Livingston Allen, was born in Spanish Town, Jamaica on May 17, 1991. And around the age of 10, moved to New York with his mother and brother. He attended high school and graduated from Rutgers University with a degree in biomathematics. While in college, AK started DJing. At the time, he was also producing beats, but he lacked social skills. He was also, he and his friends also started throwing parties on campus. At the same time, he tried his hand at making a blog. The first was Late Night Creep, a site that highlighted women on campus. Things going on around campus and basically the underground gossip. He would later jump on college radio to be a shock jock, but that was short-lived. He didn't play much on the music side, but talked a lot. He eventually played a popular yet risque song on the radio while taking a break. It was Big Sean's Dance, and the song played on the radio, and it was also the dirty version. He was kicked off the air as a jock, but he had already started uploading videos on his short-lived radio stint to YouTube. And after he got fired, he continued to take those same videos and put it out to YouTube like he was still working. He started re- he started reviewing music and um, and on YouTube, and he eventually came across a Chicago rapper named Chief Keef. Um, he really liked his music. And the people in his comment section wanted more. They wanted to know the behind the scenes of Chief Keith. This was really fascinating. That was the beginning of uh, Chicago drill rap. Um, that was around 2014. Thus was born his infamous site called The War in Chirac. The series was born and basically was satire on the violence that was spawned from the music and he hoped it would help people see the idiotic mess that was happening in these streets but instead of that it fueled the fire and helped to launch his youtube career the channel dealt with drill music and the artists at that time little reese jojo little dirk and chief keith to name a few fast forward to april 17th 2017 Academics, Joe Budden, and co-host Nadeska bring everyday struggle to YouTube through Complex Magazine. Academics, who has fame from YouTube along with rapper Joe Budden, have a weekly show that brings season as well as new artists to the platform for hip-hop related issues. During Academics Rise, here starts the incoming Beef Brigade. The June 20th, 2017 edition of Everyday Struggle got kind of heated when Chicago rapper Vic Mensa came on to talk about the Chicago music scene. Vic caught everybody off guard when after asked by AK if he felt drill music was done and did he feel people outside of Chicago hyped it up the music that glorified the deaths Vic replied that he wanted to slap AK in the face he felt academics was getting famous off the death himself and it also hit a little bit harder because he told him he made a video centered around a childhood friend of his that was also murdered in Chicago AK was able to make it through the interview without being attacked. Following that incident, there are numerous run-ins with notable rappers. AK gets into a Twitter beef with Meek Mill over not supporting his 2017 
album release wins and losses on his socials and meek also beefs with ak over his friendship with rapper turned informant takashi 69 he exchanges words with freddie gibbs after gibbs says young jeezy is irrelevant ak states with gibbs record sales he's in the same boat he claims Jeezy is in. In 2019, he got in issues with Nicki Minaj when he stated that her breakup with Meek Mill would not impact Meek's career. Academics claims that she tried to get him fired and threatened him and his family. He's gone back and forth with Meg Thee Stallion over the Tory Lane shooting incident and also her record sales and that's just a handful of the many run-ins or exchanges that um academics has had uh throughout the years he tends to say the unpopular or take the road less traveled he has carved a space in the genre that years from now people will have to credit him with being a true pioneer Hey, that's my opinion. Please give me yours. Please comment in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe. And once again, family, be safe.